Thank you, Madam Speaker. I also stand to air my voice on this motion as amended by Honorable Tandi. It's a very, very important amendment and motion. Madam Speaker, we have had these issues in circles, year in, year out. There is not a single year that has passed without hearing of a scheme that has come to sink Kenyans' money. We earn in very difficult situations. Earning these days is becoming a challenge. And now having people registering some funny companies and coming over to steal from our people should come to an end. Madam Speaker, this will not come to an end until when we have those who are doing this business accountable, earned accountable and paying back what they have stolen. That is the only time when we are going to stop this habit. Madam Speaker, we have people who have taken this money, uh, for example, the Cyton. The directors are known. The accounts are known. And we should have a way of reclaiming the money that has been stolen from Kenyans through these uh, fees accounts. Madam Speaker, we have had issues with things like the pyramid schemes, where Kenyans lost billions of shillings through some uh, funny schemes that were just set up purposely to steal from the Kenyans. We have had the banks, where by Kenyans have deposited their money, and the other day you go with the drawing, you find the bank has closed down. Now is the high time that we stop this, and we can only stop this by ending those who are uh, accountable, responsible, and forcing them to pay. I think it's also an eye opener to the Kenyans. Let's not have somebody coming telling you that invest two millions and get three million. I think we should not go for these easy deals whereby we are running to earn money which is not there. The Kenyans should also learn because in every corner you will find somebody whose money has been stolen in one or the other because of being a promised heaven which does not exist. Therefore, Madam Speaker, the, 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 the capital authority should take also responsibility in regulating these uh, financial organizations. And I think it's at high time that the government of Kenya also opens their eyes through the institutions, NSIS and the criminal departments, to make sure that whoever comes to invest is investigated thoroughly. And we prove that there are people of sound mind, there are people with good records, and they have no history of looting from other nations. Because these things have been coming in and out, and there is no way we, 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 can, we can bring it to an end unless the, the, the authority takes the responsibility. And Madam Speaker, we should not have the big fish. Even if it's a big fish, there is always a, a, a trap even for big fish that we don't have to, uh, to be explaining that this and that is being protected by this and that, and that's why we are having these uh, lootings. Therefore, Madam Speaker, I'm just supporting this uh, uh, motion as amended by Honorable Tandi, and especially this on Saiton. We, have many, we, we, we already have many Kenyans, and even now they are continuing to pay the money. I wonder how they are continuing to pay the money when the, the, the already, already who, are, who paid earlier have had their money uh, sunk. I think it is, the first step is to make sure that it does not continue to steal more, uh, from more Kenyans before even reclaiming what has already been stolen. And I think this uh, should be the first step that the government should take to make sure that this, uh, uh, this institution is already is, is, uh, closed so that it doesn't continue uh, inviting more Kenyans. And you know, everybody in Kenya likes to make a shilling. So wherever they hear that you are making a shilling here, they rush for it. Someone just taking loans, others selling their assets uh, to go for this money. Therefore, Madam Speaker, I support this motion as amended, and thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you. Member Fonieri. Uh, thank you so much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I rise to support Honorable Tadi because I'm a victim. And I'm a victim because one of my sisters took a loan in 